Welcome back to Bitonto Pizza. We're going to talk about one of the problems that pizzaioli have, and that is getting the floor temperature right. Even if you get it right off the bat for that first pizza, it may not be right for 20, 30 pizzas that you have to make. This package may have the answer for me. All right, so what is in our amazing little package? And as you may have guessed already, it's a thermometer. We have to remember that the pizza oven gets really, really hot. So you gotta pay attention to the specs of the thermometer. Make sure you get one that's gonna cover the high heat of the pizza oven, or at least what I'm hoping is the high heat of the floor of the pizza oven. This thermometer is very simple. Uh, I think I got it for about 13 bucks off of Amazon. It's got two pieces to it. So one is uh, the probe and I'm gonna drill underneath the oven because the temperature that I'm interested in is actually how saturated the floor of the oven is with heat, with the temperature that I need. The problem comes from having a good temperature on the top of the floor of the oven, but because the oven has so much thermal mass, it may not have penetrated down. And I need that floor to be high temperature pretty much all the way through so that I'll know that when I start making the 20th or the 30th or the 40th or 50th pizza, that I'm still going to have heat to pull on and that my fire off to the side is going to replenish the heat of that. Because what happens is if you just end up heating that first layer of the bottom of the oven, the first layer makes one or two pizzas. The pizzas actually pull a lot of heat out of that stone. And when they pull the heat out, then the heat redistributes just as it does in any, you know, in any thermodynamic situation. And so it's going to lower the overall temperature of that floor. And you're not going to have good heat for the rest of your batch. And I thought the best thing I could do is put this thermometer up the rear end of my oven, so to speak, and see what the temperature is going to be. The readout is always going to be in Celsius. Notice that the wire is braided uh, fiberglass fibers, and that's to make sure that uh, it can withstand the heat. And the probe itself is a thermocouple. Uh, otherwise, any of the other types of heating probes or it does require a 12 volt supply, uh, which plugs in where you see this little white so you'll notice that it does react when I, uh, I put my finger on it uh, and the heat, uh, the temperature is going up. Uh, it doesn't go up super quick, uh, but the difference in temperature between you know, my, my body and this room um, should be you know, about 10 degrees. Like I, I should not, this should not read over 37 degrees. Um, honestly, if it does, uh, I'm probably gonna go get tested for COVID before I go hang out with any of my friends. Um, the ice water is not going to be quite, you know, 32 degrees or quite zero degrees Celsius, but it's going to get pretty close. Um, you know, expect single digits, but this will help us understand like how well calibrated this thing is before we start trying to measure oven temperatures. Um, honestly, I think, um, I think it's pretty good. You know, uh, the, uh, the probe moves around a little bit. It's just slightly above freezing, which is sort of, uh, you know, what, what we would expect. So that looks pretty good. Now we're going to dip this bad boy in some hot water uh, and we'll see how it goes. Um, we should, if everything comes out right. Yeah, it's, it's getting pretty close. We can see that it takes a few seconds to actually calibrate. So this took a, a little less effort than initially thought. There are actually some holes, uh, some of which you can see from the video underneath the Zio Chiro oven in the metal casing. And I think they're either there for drainage, uh, maybe they were necessary for manufacturing. They were larger than my probe, which means I'm able to just put the probe in there. 
I drilled up into the oven and uh, started with a small drill bit and then um, uh, a uh, slightly larger one after that. And that seems to have worked. We're gonna check real quick, make sure that we didn't crack or perforate the bottom of the oven. It does not appear that there are any damage to the floor anywhere from what we just did. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to take this binder clip. We have a strong magnet here, which may get ruined uh, due to the heat, but I guess we'll find that out. Um, being on the bottom, it's not too bad. And then uh, we're gonna attach this to the bottom of the oven. Uh, but, but I'm gonna put the black part around the wire and then remove the handles. I uh, inserted just one of the handles into the hole. I had to cut the ends just slightly. Runs over here. This is held by a magnet, and then it goes straight down to the thermometer so I can keep it out of the wood. Aesthetically, I think this looks really good on the oven. We're gonna use the thermometer in upcoming videos, and I hope this was enjoyable to you for $15 installing a thermometer like this on your oven and knowing how hot the bottom of the oven is getting is really useful when you're trying to perfect your pizza making technique. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you in the next videos over the next few weeks. Thanks for watching.